Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for March 2022. Um, this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, I do have to tell you something. Some of you may not like this, I don't know, um, but it's just interesting how, like, you know, I keep a certain way that I'm, I'm going to do readings. And it's interesting that Leo fell on today, which is actually um, four years ago today, uh, the Lord took my son home. So I kind of wrestled with whether I should even do the reading. Um, you know, I went for, through my natural sadness and um, have moved on from that. <laughs> um, so anyways, I was torn. Should I do your reading? Should I do Leo's reading today? And I was sitting in my office, just, you know, just sitting here. And all of a sudden, the lights over my pictures came on by themselves. And I have to physically hit a button for them to turn on. So they came on themselves. Um... So, you know, number one, I took that as a sign that, yes, I'm meant to do your reading. Um, but I just wanted you to know that because, I don't know, maybe that makes it difficult for some. You know, it's, I know that it's quite a few of you have my son's birthday, August 12th, which um, I love. I really love that. So anyways, I am um, I'm going to do your reading. I feel good about it. I feel like I am definitely meant to do it. Um, I feel like it's going to be spiritual. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with Mother Mary. Get her words of wisdom. And then we're going to move into the Tarot. You know, I, tro I chose the Light Seekers for you because... You know, when, if I had to give my decks a name, I would give that one sunshine. It reminds me of sunshine. So, um, and you are ruled by the sun. Um, and you certainly can be full of sunshine. Jesus. Mother Mary sends us Jesus. I pray for Jesus' help and guidance with this situation. It's funny, he's pointing upward. We will, um, you know, definitely see how that plays out through the reading, and then we'll read it from the book at the end. Jesus I don't know that gives me a sense of comfort to be honest almost like if I'm wondering you know where a loved one is he's pointing upward We're going to just take right off the deck and uh, let's go ahead and begin this portion of your reading uh, by the way we um, had what Leo full moon your full moon in uh, was uh, February 17th I believe um, moving into Virgo full moon for March uh, I can talk about getting down, getting down to it, uh, making a plan, um, speak of many different things. All right. Well, okay. We open with the three of swords. You know, that's heartache. You know, it's heartache of many different things. Um, it can be one thing in particular, but it can be just the heartache of life, you know, the pain of life. It's the first card, so I feel like that's good. We have the Three of Pentacles. 
You know, it's interesting because this is reminding me of how I even ended up on this path. And um, it's when my brother passed. Um, I was sitting at his bedside and I saw um, two spirits come in the room and collect his soul. I saw it with my own eyes. And um, it blew me away, but it was so comforting at the same time. Because I feel like, honestly, it's like everything went into slow motion so that I know what I saw. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, did I see that? No, I know I saw it. So it changed the course of my life, to be honest. It opened up this whole avenue of... What was that? You know, I already knew, um, but I wanted to know more. So um, I started going to the library and taking books out. One book after another, I'd take five books out. Um, read all five, go back a couple of days later and take more out. I, and I was getting all different kinds of opinions. Like I wanted to get different opinions so I could form my own and it's interesting because the three of pentacles um you know it is what started this new path and i and i'm saying that only because i feel like i'm speaking to you and your path also um you know the one thing i knew is after I lost my son was not to stop working was to keep my mind um, occupied if, with my craft and my you know in my creativity I knew that um, you know because otherwise I feel like you go mad you would go mad so that's exactly what I did and from you know um, I don't know. I feel like you guys comforted me a lot. So anyways, I feel like this is also talking about, you know, a something uniquely, a talent that you need, you uniquely carry. Um, and um, this could be a time when, you know, it's interesting because it's moving out of this heaviness in our heart and moving us more into um, the creativity like within our heart, in our head. Um, but it's also the energy with other people are admiring you and what you do and what you can bring to the table. It's going to be great collaboration. We have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Wow. You know... I guess it's good to know that the Ten of Cups still exist after that Three of Swords, right? We have Justice, Card of Leo, or I'm sorry, Card of Libra. Um, right off the bat, I want to go above the Ten of Cups. I have the Nine of Wands. Can talk certainly talk about some type of a relationship that, um, hmm. Look at that. I have the Ten of Wands. Some of you may have left. Um, we can certainly talk about a divorce. Again, you know, I'm not feeling this Ten of Cups. It's like, well, okay, well, that's it. You know, I have my Ten of Cups. That's done. Uh, no, I don't feel that. Um, especially in this Ten of Wands, right? Ten of Wands is really an energy where um, you made the conscious choice to take on a sense of responsibility, uh, maybe all the responsibility. And um, eventually, it becomes too much. 
too much. You know, this person, you know, it's interesting how I said, I don't, I feel like the Ten of Cups. It doesn't mean it's over because in this energy, I feel like this person is leaving one mountaintop, which is this Ten of Cups, but heading to another. Doesn't mean it'll look the same, be the same, any of that. Um, I feel like this person is willing to, you know, it's that energy of you know I feel like the one thing I can say here is I feel like someone gave really all they could give um, and maybe more than they should have so I feel like there's a new a new start I don't feel like this new start is easy I don't um, but that doesn't mean it's not worth it, right? Because I feel like it's it's like discovering new territories, right? Not always easy, right? You know, you got to cut through the bush, and the next thing you know, you have this beautiful lake in front of you. So, all right, um, let's go about the three of swords. We have the Five of Wands. Five of Wands. Let me bring this down for you. Five of Wands. Um, you know, I felt like someone may have tried something like three different times. And um, three different times it didn't work out. Um, you know, and it's almost like, I feel like, huh, it's interesting because I feel like, listen, even though maybe at one time I had the Ten of Cups within this energy, it's not what it ended up being. Um, because I feel, first of all, it's almost like... Um, someone saying, you know what, I'll stay home, I'll take care of the kids, um, or I'll work, you stay home and study, you know what I mean, like supporting someone so that they could um, do better, be better, and um, it almost feels like in the long run, like, I don't know. By the way, the more you guys tell me to stop saying I don't know, the more I say it. Not on purpose. I'm just telling you. It's like if I think about it, it you know what I mean? Like it's just part of how I read. Um, you know. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so we have the five of swords right about the three of swords. There's a lot of ego. In this energy there's a lot of battling in this energy um, you know there's a lot of um, almost destruction you know maybe to each other to the relationship so I so I feel like um, you know and I also feel in that energy there's you know nobody wins nobody wins um, Actually, I feel the winner is the person who ends up, you know, I'm saying walking away, but I feel like you are. You are finding new territories. You're discovering new places. So let's go underneath it. We have the Knight of Wands, and that's exactly what she would do. She would say yes. You want to go do this? Yeah. Yeah. You want to go skydiving? Yeah, sure. You want to meet my friend? Yeah, why not? You know, doesn't work out, doesn't work out. Um, it's a very ca uh, carefree way of living. It's interesting because I feel like um, it's the opposite maybe of uh, the energy that you've been in that you've that feels almost feels like it's been available to you remember five 
it, right now it's, it's the top card five of um, anything actually is about change it's about change um, sometimes change we didn't ask for um, but usually it's about change that's going to serve us again in this ten of wands like I don't feel like it's like I can't expect it to be like just like the knight of wands carefree and easy um, but step by step I'll get there I'll get there All right, I'm gonna look about the Three of Pentacles. We have the Hangman, and that's exactly what I was feeling, almost like you were putting off something that um, you're meant to do. Uh, some of you, you might wanna check out a reading. It's called, You Were Born For This. Uh, it's directly from Spirit Guides, and I'm pretty sure that's the name of it, because that's what I feel. Um, I feel like some of you, you know, it's just, this doesn't have to be like a gift that I've always had, but I'm discovering things about myself. Um, I'm discovering these things, you know, even if there's no movement, maybe just like in my mind, just like I'm learning and I'm watching and, and I'm discovering, you know, ultimately the hangman is looking for an awakening. Show me my next steps on this physical plane. So I feel like um, it's kind of answered, right? You know, the nine one says, don't give up on yourself. Like, don't give up on yourself. But sometimes you do have to give up on a situation, right? Um, nine of wands talks about how you're becoming a spirit warrior. You really are. Um, you know, and in the nine, that's the moment to take reflection upon it. And I think the reflection upon it was, I have to go find another mountain. Um, and you know what? Because there's plenty of mountains out there. And I feel like one mountain, it's like your soulmate's. Okay, let's go below it. We have temperance, divine timing. Divine timing. Um, I feel like this is also tr saying trust yourself. You know, trust yourself. Like, you know, like, you know when something is over. You know, we know that. We know when something, you know, um, sometimes we take people back. It's not because you know, we want them back. It's because we have a sense of loneliness, right? And um, I think when we become more aware of that, we, that's when we start to break cycles. You know, it was a journey for her to get up this one mountain. Um, but now, you know, and she's at the bottom of it. Now that could be, sound bad I feel like I don't feel like it's bad because I feel like she's on flat land now so now it gets easier and easier okay um, let's go above justice we have the queen of wands so can be you another Leo Aries Sagittarius And I'm gonna go right below. We have the death card. But then it says rebirth. Death and then rebirth. You know, ultimately, I feel like what you're reading is saying to you is if you are not like happy um, in your current situations whatever they may be um you know and you know like 
again, I don't want to say the journey, the new journey um, begins easily. I don't think it begins easily, but I feel like as I'm on it and every step I take, I'm getting stronger and, you know, I'm, st uh, I'm really learning who I am. Death's card says, learn when to shut doors so that new opportunities can open up. And that's exactly what she's seeking. And, you know, temperance is right here, right, right alongside her. It's all about divine energy, divine order, divine timing. Um, some may, be in, may have been in karmic situations. Maybe have paid that karmic off. Maybe closing the door finally plays, pays that karmic off forever. Doesn't mean you can't create more. But nonetheless... You know, and I feel like I've been like so weighed down, so weighed down. And um, I miss just being me and just being carefree and just, you know, saying yes. You know what I mean? I feel like I've had to say no for so long for whatever reason. Um, but just saying yes to uh, what's ever out there very you know moving into very trustworthy energy you know the night is bringing you this type of energy so i feel like it's always going to be available to you all right let's go to the bottom of the deck we have the page of wands who i often call the fool back and just look at a few of these cards look at that justice and the ace of pentacles justice which is right here and then the ace of pentacles with the death card underneath that right rebirth there's the ace start with I have the Queen of Wands I guess we'll start at the beginning you know the Queen of Wands used to be the Knight of Wands the Page of Wands I feel like you know this is different um time periods in her life you know I feel like if someone keeps hurting you they're going to keep hurting you we have the hermit coming over the hangman um, makes sense, right? Seeking wisdom. The hermit finds it. Um, spiritual wisdom. Show me the light out of this darkness. The hermit will do that for you. Um, you know, I often, you know, I often feel like the hermit, first of all, it's nine, again, reflection. It's like the hermit is the final reflection um, upon um, the ending uh, or a cycle that's about to end, right? I want to come out of it um, wiser than I went into it. So you do. Um, and it's interesting that the hermit is shining his beacon of light outward. 
I feel like that's you shining your light outward. Um, you know, and I also feel like there's a lot of protection here for you, like along um, this journey, along any journey that you choose. Um, and if you use this wisdom that you're gaining, right? And sometimes it's simply, what do I not want, right? What do I now know that I don't want that I thought I wanted? Now I know I don't. I feel like the hermit um, in some way becomes like the master teacher, right? Um, wants to help shine their light upon others to help them. You know, it's like this queen of wands has grown up. She has grown up. And I feel like she has, she's now carrying the energy of the Hermit. Don't think of it just as Virgo. Don't think of it like that, even though we are moving into a Virgo um, full moon. Um, think of the energy of the Hermit. This is an overnight energy. But I do feel like, I feel like our queen has grown up. We have the devil that flipped itself around in the deck. Card of Capricorn. You know, um, the devil can carry temptation. Um, something that tries to lure you, right? Uh, but the hermit, it's like, uh, you know, his beacon of light is like illuminating that energy. So I feel like it's trusting that. You know, I feel like some of you have gone through some big life changes and um, you're coming out on the other end now. You know, we have the Queen of Wands here, the Queen of Wands here. Um, and I feel like this Queen of Wands, like, you know, she's the Queen. She just feels like she's rising above any kind of drama, any type of drama. I feel like she's very aware of, you know, how strong she has become. Um, or ultimately can know that. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, the knowing that, you know, our little girl has grown up. No, can be a guy, boy. We have the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, well, right next to the devil. Um, so first of all, Seven of Swords is like you know, the thief in the night um, takes more than he needs, um, is untrustworthy, doesn't have your best interest at heart. You know, I don't know, like I'm feeling like this little side thing of almost to somebody, is there someone who keeps pulling me to something like a substance that um, keeps me almost tied to them? You gotta know that. Okay, anyways, look at this. We have the sun. The sun's in reverse, um, but the sun is still here. You know, first of all, it's a card of Leo, and it feels personal to me, um, you know.
we have the King of Wands, the King of Wands. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, sitting right next to the sun now. Um, feels for some, definitely Leo. Um, and it's funny because I feel like it's a little side message to me also that um, the illumination that my son now carries, you know, um, first of all, in the line with divine energy. And I see the sun is reversed, but at the same time, it's making me look at Jesus and where his hand is pointed and it's pointed upward. Now. I know that's not the only message. Um, and just because I feel messages for me doesn't mean it's not also for you. You know, Spirit definitely uses my experiences um, in readings. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Well... You know, I almost felt like here I am in this situation, right? Here I'm in this, let's say, house that, um, I don't know, it, ca it may have carried some difficult energy. But I feel like even in that house, there's an ability for you to create, um, to focus on creating something for yourself. Um, you know, first of all, it's eight. It's about a new beginning. And, um, you know, just like I felt like in the beginning of the reading, like how I ended up on this path. For some of you, I feel like, you know, it is it is through your situations and your difficulties um, that many of you, you know, someone asked a question, um, should I write a book? And, and I felt their guides like so strong saying, yes, yes, yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, but but it's it's what you know. It's up to the person, right? That's what the Eight of Pentacles is. If I put my focus on something, I will grow it, and I will be successful. Maybe someone else tells you you won't be. I don't know. I do feel like if there's an energy around me that just keeps tempting me, but I know that it's not good for me. And in the same breath, I want to say, um, you know, you're feeling, it's like you're feeling a different type of power. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the Leo full moon had a lot, like a lot of push for you. Could be why the sun's in reverse too. So anyways, I feel like, you know, I'm in this situation, um, I decide to put my focus, like something grabs my attention, other than this negativity, um, it's almost like the lantern of that hermit, and I feel like somebody like sits down and just starts writing, um, or sits down and starts doing something, and I feel like, pfft, they may not know it yet, but that is like the course that their life is about to take. Um, you know, we are the magician. We are the, you know, we have to remember our power in creating our future. It's our intention. It's how we look at it. And then it's our action, right? Like our spirit guides are like, man, we will send you the signs. But then you've got to take the action. We have... The Nine of Swords. Hmm. I feel like someone's like, it's almost like someone played a number with your head. Someone's playing a number with your head. And it's interesting, it's coming over divorce or divorce justice, which could mean a divorce. Um, I 
I feel like a nine of swords, you know, like she's sitting in her bed and just thinking like all these swords, right? It's like the energy of doom. Like, but I can see the swords coming after me. No, you don't. It's an illusion. The devil could be casting that illusion. Nine of Swords is about unnecessary worry. It's, you know, it's how we allow our thoughts to control us, right? We think that everything we think is truth. And, um, is it? <laughs> is everything that everybody says the truth? No. Including you. So anyways... We have the Page of Cups, but it, it, you can see that it definitely flipped itself around. Page of Cups in reverse. You know, it makes sense that the Page of Cups would be in reverse with the Nine of Swords right here. Because the Nine of Swords, again, you know, um, I am not, like, you know, there is self-doubt in that energy. Um, I feel like it's created outside of yourself. Uh, but then at the same time, like, it's like I'm taking in, it's like a whirlwind almost. And the page of being in reverse, it like means, are you taking care of yourself? I don't think so. I kind of don't feel like it. Um, are you allowing yourself to be adventurous? Be like your old self, if that's what you want. You know, what do you want? Some of you who are going through, going through that type of energy may be the very people who help in the future the people who will be going through it then. I wasn't going to do every card, but I say that every reading. We have the Four of Cups. Hmm. Four of Cups is getting a little stuck in the emotional house. Um, Four of Cups can easily take on the energy of, I hate to say laziness, but let's say inactivity towards my own dreams, right? This cup, I feel like, is representing your dream. Um... But in the Four of Cups, I feel like this person, like, I don't know. I don't know how the energy. Also coming over Temperance, which is all about divine timing, right? Definitely a lesson here. Instead of thinking, I cannot do something, I cannot leave someone, I cannot create something, start thinking the exact opposite. I can leave somebody if I truly want to. I can create something if that's what I want to do, if that's what I decide to put my focus on. I can have a different life if that's what I choose, right? But I got to find that power within me. That power's got to come from in, within me. Because I can feel like the, the opposite energy of something luring you, right? Luring you, um, but... Some people may not be ready to leave the dark energy. Like, I don't know if I want to leave it yet. Well... Well, who's to say that? I have the magician. Um, but you know, I'm not sure if he's in reverse or upward. He was on here. He's coming over the Ten of Wands. And uh, first of all, I feel like it's action. You know, I like the magician with the Eight of Pentacles as above, so below. It's funny because I feel like we have above and we have below. Um, and then you... 
the creator, like you're creating from that energy. The magician is your action. You know, the magician would tell the fool um, who is, you know, it's the first person that the page or let's say the fool meets anyway is a magician. Teaches them about all the tools that, he, that you already possess, right? And that you're not here alone, right? As above, so below. That connection doesn't go away. I feel like for some of you, like ask for signs, um, but then see them and then use them. I, in a way, I feel like this reading feels like a bummer, but it's really not because I feel like what it's doing, it's, it's, it's like changing the course of your life almost, you know, yes, with your action, but almost unbeknownst to you like where you end up it's funny because i feel like the energy of the master teacher anyway we have the knight of swords door must close because the knight of swords is coming in this knight of swords gives us some type of a rebirth you know swords is communication some of you this is like words coming to you, like literally, like, you know, I, I can't write it fast enough. Um, ideas coming to you. I feel like there's a lot of different things because I do feel like it's moving you into very creative type energy. But listen, I feel like you're meant to be in that type of energy as much as you can anyway. But anyways, rebirth and then, you know, this night brings truth and honor look at this way temperance so i just wanted to take one more after this night and i feel like um you know that tells me why i can trust this energy right divine this is divine energy by the way it is card sagittarius some of you could be like even a communication coming in but this is all about divine timing. You know, I often, I can see the patterns in the reading. I can see them. And I often see energy of like this worry, right? But at the same breath, it's like there's this change that wants to take place. Um, but would it even make sense in this type of energy? So I feel like it's you fighting yourself, you know, like pulling yourself out of it. And when you do that, um, and that and that could come through just you simply seeking wisdom. Um, I feel like that starts to open you and open up your world. Um, and then now you've got to open yourself up to the adventures. The adventures. Um, you know, and listen, I feel like what needs to end, you know it needs to end. Um, and for many of you, I feel like it already has. Like you've already... This is you. You have already walked down. You've been at that mountaintop and you have walked down and you are now in flat land. Flat land. And you are the magician. What do you want your next mountaintop to look like? Start thinking about it now. Start visioning it right now. Hmm. Um, I think I want to do, I don't know why I'm starting to take the cards this way. Look at this with 10 of wands. So I just kind of wanted to look at that, that heavy energy. And then we get something that's even heavier. 10 of wands, everything's on your back. Doesn't mean it's meant to be. It's saying that you're willing, you've been willing to carry it upon your back. Um, it's funny because I can see like the deer in the background and they're like looking at you like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're supposed to be coming and running and playing with us. Like, nonetheless, don't think the spirit won't use this for purpose to help you in some way. And this may become part of the wisdom again that the hangman is seeking. 
and the hermit is the receiver. So, I feel like that's got to go. The Nine of Swords has to go. Stop telling, you know, and it just, it feels wrong for me to say to Aaliyah, to, like, stop telling yourself you cannot do something um, because you can. And pay attention to, like, how certain hard things in your life lead you to something new. Like, maybe be open to that. You might just be surprised where it leads you. So, I like divine timing, divine order as, let's say, our last card, right? Because what that says is much of this we can, can let go, we can let go of control of, but we do have to take the action steps. Maybe some of you, you need to pray about it. Um, you know, your angels, you have to ask for help. Ask for their help. Your spirit guides are always sending you signs. Doesn't mean you're always receiving them. Um, they're sending you red flags. Doesn't mean you're always receiving them. You're receiving them. Doesn't mean you pay attention to them, right? Um, but your angels need your requests. Like, And if you're unsure, ask for it to come again. Clearer. Anyways, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. Um, I love you. I, um, I thank you just for being part of my family, truly. Um, you know, it is you who has helped me. You don't even know that. You've helped me so much, um, through so much, truly. Some of you have been th with me from the beginning, and my God, is my life taken... A lot of turns and twists and changes um, that back then you know you don't know where you're gonna end up but I love you guys um, as always I will see you next time at my table thank you bye bye